they very much want to be that club that represents the EU scene in our world final this February. We'll see if they're able to do so. They start off here in the road whites against the Fallon Coal Miners in the black with the red helmets here and off the face off. Puck out of the zone in possession though for H Reds and right back in. Benito, the cut tries to drive. Good look there. But a good save. Tried to go back to the point. Martindale comes up with it. Does he have the pace? No, he doesn't, but there's Arska. It bounces around and Faze is able to cover. Scariest moment of the game for the H Reds defense. He dangles, tries to get it in front. Fopa Toflin can't clear it. A mistake. King of Apes, Nicky Dangles, good save by Tiku. Tamo holding, we're back to five on five. That shot just wide of the post. Big time face off. One clean by Arska, gets it back, scores! What a set play off the draw. Fopa Toflin gives the foul and coal miners the lead. Huge play off the draw right there and a huge one-time shot from that screen right hand circle. You can see him kind of go around that defenseman right there and open himself up. Faze tries to get over, but that puck simply had eyes. You can see it, how it develops off the draw right here, but it starts with the win and that's exactly what Pro Arska needed. Dua fell back over to his centerman Arska who kind of turned around after winning that face off. Just quick passes there. Ooh, they might not be done trying to sneak Popa Toflin in. one nothing for the coal miners here and now H Reds have to play catch up. Benito looking. Back for Nicky Dangles and again to Benito. Pinching in. Nicky Dangles saving off the side of the goal. The second chance. Mando for Martindale. Can't clear it. Villapoyka. King of Apes denied on the shot. That was a flurry from H Reds. But how about Tiku in between the pipes? Made a couple massive saves right there. Keeping his team up by one. Off the draw. Shot save. Rebound scores. So close yet so far for the Fallon Coal Miners. Nikki Dangles finds the back of the Nets. And H Reds have tied it with 17 seconds to go. They might not be done. Benito has it. Looking to the point. Five seconds. One timer. Deflects wide. Two seconds. Shot save at the buzzer. To salvage a point for the Fallon Coal Miners as we'll get another look at the tying goal. H Reds nearly taking this one in regulation, though. So close. Nikki Dangles over to Villa Poika. Nikki Dangles got it back, couldn't pull the trigger. Has it again. King of Apes, Nikki Dangles shot. Benito scores! The net front presence too strong. H Reds winners in double overtime. Oh man, that one's got to hurt for coal miners, but especially Tiku right there. We're going to get another look at this play. Just a good job of working the perimeter. We see H Reds do that so often. King of Apes, a bit of trouble with an initial shot, and there's somehow space right there for. We'll see if they can take it from the opening draw in this one. And, you know, they definitely don't want another overtime scare, that's for sure. But we'll see what happens here. Coal miners now at 2 3 and 2 on the season. H Reds 4 0 oh, 1 as Faye is forced to. Make that stop there. And it is H Reds in the home dark uniforms on this one. Benito, the shot. Rebound scores. And there it is. Looks like it went in off the defender late. I mean, I thought it might have been uh, King of Apes in front, but Benito gets the goal. And yeah, how's that? And a two minutes in. And there you go. Yeah, well, that's the start that they want. A nice little toe drag shot right there. Have two people crashing the net. And yeah, King of Apes was down on one knee, taking a whack at it, I believe. But. Uh, hitting off to the fender. We'll see if we can get a bit of a better look at it right here. Nice little pass from Billy Poica. And yeah, it must have went off that uh, left defenseman right there because that was right where King of Apes was. But that's the start that H Reds wanted here. And well, they don't have to worry about playing from behind, at least right now. King of Apes in front, nobody home. Worst case scenario for the Fallon Coal Miners. Playing from behind. Two minutes into the game. Popotoflin has it. Arska. Back over to him, poked away. Space Villapoika scores! 
Took him a little bit longer than he would have liked. King of Apes has his first goal of the season. 2-0 H-Reds and an early, early pause and timeout from the foul and coal miners. Yeah, definitely needs to be seen. And that's just a tremendous poke. Not only is he the guy to poke the puck, but then he gets on his horse, goes up the ice and scores the goal. If that doesn't completely just encapsulate the type of player uh, that King of Apes is, I don't know what does. Poke. As Benito can't win the draw, but they do get possession. Scores! Who else would it be cleaning up the mess? King of Apes, his second of the game. Power play tally. 3-0 under seven minutes into the game. Just immediately off of the faceoff. Not the cleanest of plays right there, but that's just hard work as, you know, King of Apes just powers his way through i think you said it best he's just looking to take over this game i'd say he's done exactly that now two goals in a row for him putting his team up three to nothing we haven't even hit the midway point of the first period so yeah he's i mean he's actually made some pretty massive saves in this game it's just overshadowed but well <laughs> what a save on Filipoika. got it with the glove case in point yes we will continue to bang on about the importance of goal differential and how that can affect the standings. So it really does benefit teams to continue to pour it on. Here's Tamu in all alone. He scores. Four nothing. H Reds here in the first period. As Tamu finds the back of the net for the first time this season. And set up by his defensive partner, Low Less. He's the first one up the ice and. A little bit of a nice little play by Villapoika there, just kind of maintaining that body position, still skating up the ice, uh, but maybe not hustling as he would to uh, prevent those <laughs> defensemen to get perhaps get back in position here. Villapoika there again, Ooh. two for one special for Furion on the hit. We are back to five on five. Almost Heart became nailed. three. A big hit there, Benito takes it away. Here goes Tamu again, head of steam. He scores! Doubles it up on the backhand. Breakaway goals. 5 nothing. H Reds. Two goals each for each of those defensemen right there. Tamo on the breakaway once again. Out of the box. Fresh up on that stamina. Everyone else is kind of drained after that penalty kill. And he just takes off. Doesn't look back. Extends the lead to 5 nothing. Excuse me, by the way. It was last Mandalorian on the call. On well, the penalty, that is. Furion's still out there. Imagine getting uh, a set of brothers confused with one another. Maybe. Nicky Dangles looking. Tamu scores. What a, what a feed to Villapoika. They take the power play goal on the five on three. Beautiful play. I mean, yeah, you're hunting for a hat trick. You get a prime pass to attempt that one time. You, you feed it over to your winger who has... I mean, you're looking at almost half the net open to him right there. Sneaks it home. Tiku did a decent job of getting back, but that pass happened so quickly and it covered so much difference, distance, excuse me, in, in, in such a short amount of time that just not enough time for Tiku to get back. What a goal there. What a pass from Tamu. King of Apes shot goes wide. Tamu. And two breakaway goals for him in this one. Just nowhere for them to go. Villapoika scores. An immense amount of pressure. Coal miners can't clear the puck. 7-0. Just under siege. They just absolutely under siege right there. A-treads again and again and again, knocking that puck loose. You have to earn every single inch when you're playing against a team like A-treads here. And you can see why it is. Villa Poika right there. Just a good job of reading that situation and being able to go in there and score one more. That's his second as well. I feel like we have like three different people on the cut, or maybe even four different people on the cusp of a hat trick. Played on championship caliber teams. He knows the deal. You see him what he has to provide here for this team. Villa Poika, King of Apes in the play. Shot scores. Benito picks the corner. Is that every player on two goals? It's close if it's not. Um, almost, wow, I mean, almost. No, yeah, that, that put him up to 10. But uh, yeah. 
Don't worry, I made, I made that math st mistake right before you. I said, I feel, I feel <laughs> like four people have two goals, and there's only seven goals on the board, and I, I just kept my mouth shut for a while, yeah, hoping no one I, noticed. I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take the fall with you, buddy. You're not going down alone. Final 10 seconds of this one. We said it could be another close one, or it could be a blowout. Will it be the hat trick? He scores! <laughs> He gets his hat trick. King of Apes makes it happen in the final second. <laughs> and he wins the head-to-head -head duel with Tamu. Yeah, my goodness. I mean, it is comical just watching him rush up the ice and for him to do that with like one second left. And that's what you kind of got to do in a, in, a, in a game setting like this is when you're that team up by so much, you never want to get in the habit of letting your foot off the gas pedal. So it's like, okay. How how do I keep myself motivated? You saw King of Apes right there, turned himself into a forward, got that hat trick with just a second or so left in A treads. End this game by a score of nine to nothing. The second time they've scored nine goals in a game this season, coming off of the back of that first game, which they won two to one in overtime and shut out for FaZe. And with his both his defensemen uh, doing what they were doing at the end of all things, good on FaZe. His first of the year as well for FaZe.